No one beats Furniture USA. No one. He might just be the most recognizable person in Sacramento. I'm back. But he's not a movie star or a politician. It's the one for himself. This man is a furniture store owner. This Do people ever ask you for your autograph? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you may not know Ken Wen personally, but you probably know him for this. Please. Black Friday sale. Amazon so scared. It went viral. It went on Reddit. It went on Reddit. Yeah. Ken is the owner of Furniture USA on Mac Road. Do you still have that suit? Yes. Is it here? I can put it on right now. Ah. He's a proud businessman and sort of a genius when it comes to marketing. You embrace that these commercials are sometimes a little silly. Yes. After 20 years in the business, Ken Nguyen is closing his doors. But not because business is bad. In fact, it's quite good. Do you remember anything about other furniture stores in town? Not at all. Thank you, Sacramento. I decided to retire. So Ken is closing his doors because he's tired. Because his dreams came true. And once you hear his story, you understand why. If we get on the, on the, on, on the ocean, we may die, but... I'd rather die than stay in Vietnam at that time. Vietnam, 1985. American troops left the war-stricken country a decade ago, and communism is gaining strength again. We have no freedom. We have no food. We have no rights. Ken, his wife, and his four-year-old daughter tried many times to leave Vietnam. They're like a day and night, like a hell and heaven. Their final attempt was by boat. His family and 40 other people braved the ocean's current to escape to Malaysia. So we, we were on the boat for five nights and six days. No food. Uh, one a day, a small cup of water. One a day. That's it. Once in Malaysia, Ken and his family spent 10 months in a refugee camp before gaining asylum in the U.S. and a one-way ticket to San Francisco. Friday the 13th, 1985. My best day in my life. Over the next year, Ken and his wife learned English. In the morning, Ken would deliver newspapers. And at night, he worked as a janitor at a furniture store. So after six months, my, the boss uh, asked me, say, Ken, you want to be a salesman? you in college. Four years after landing in San Francisco, Ken became manager. He would eventually move to Stockton, buy out his boss, and run his own furniture store for nine years. I know, I say, man, this city is too small and not enough business for me. Ken moved to Sacramento, and it was then that he renamed his business. What do I choose a name now? I chose Punishi USA because it's my dream. It was Ken's American dream to make this store successful. Thanks again, Sacramento. And remember, no one missed furniture, you USA. But Ken's American dream took more than just a catchy commercial. Without my wife, without the teamwork, without all of us here, without customers, uh, we're not here until this day, and we're not in this level. That was the move. Okay. Ken's dream came true because America gave him a chance. Amazon's so scared. Amazon's so scared. <laughs> Thank you, America. Thank you, Sacramento. Thank you, customer, for many, for the last 20 years. In Sacramento, John Bartell, ABC 10 News.